Hey guys, I'm Ash from Training and Inspection Services and we provide self-paced e-learning courses in API Individual Certification Program Preparatory course in 9 fields. These are API 510, 570, 571, 577, 580, 653, Storage Time Inspector, 1169, Source Inspector, Fixed Equipment, and Source Inspector, Rotating Equipment. Today I'm going to talk about API 653 Storage Time Inspector. We have two packages here for you. One is the full course and one is the MOOC exam package that includes only uh, 1300 MOOC exams and um, over 20 sets of flashcards and one hour of video clips. Let's go and see what we have in API 650 the Storage Tag Inspector course. Um, if you go to our curriculum, you see the basic facts and benchmark quiz which is open and accessible to all for free. And then we have body of knowledge and scoring area, an extensive uh, set of lessons in module 3 for non-destructive examination in semi section 5, and with two sets of flashcards and two sets of practice questions. Welding engineering in semi section 9, we talk about welding procedure, welder qualification. Welding material, WPS, WPQ, flashcards, and practice questions. And then welding inspection, API 577. The welding process, inspection, visual, weld effects, repairs, and then practice questions. And we have uh, dedicated the extensive uh, set of flashcards and practice questions for API 571 damage mechanism because we know many people face difficulties here and tank construction code api 650 with flashcards inspection practice 575 with flashcards and two sets of practice questions and then on module 9 we have uh, the all important 653 tank inspection standard and this has been de explained in detail with flashcards and then we have uh, 651 and 652 cathodic protection lining as well as 576 pressure relieving devices with flashcards and then we have some 18 sets of flashcards and five sets of mock exams the, the mock exams are all timed and according to api and the, not only the content is made according to the same spirit of API examination but all the setup also is there like flag of next previous and etc so what you get here is eight hours of video 18 sets of flashcard 33 lessons and 1300 questions in total so we didn't have any return candidate so far but if god forbid you fail you have two options with us Either you request request for a, to give you four months access again for free, or you can ask us to return your money. Um, and it is 120 days, 24/7 course access with online support through WhatsApp, as you can see here. Or you can uh, call us or write to us. So let's try our. A sample questions here so as you can see this is there is a percentage here of progress and question of 1 of 20 and there is a flag so if you click this turn red so you can flag it off like API and then you go to next question you can see the answer on each question or you can see the whole answers at the end question 1 Welders shall be qualified in accordance with ASME Section 9. Each welder making welds on a tank shall be certified by manufacturer. The manufacturer is eventually responsible for that, not purchase. 3. Upon completion of new tank bottom, the welds shall be inspected by which of the methods? 
so it should be vacuum or air pressure tested to see there is no leak there. The maximum reinforcement thickness for vertical joints less than or equal to half an inch deep. I think it's 116 or 3 by 32. So I'll just check on 3 by 16 inch. Perhaps this one. The maximum acceptable undercutting of the base metal for vertical butt joint is 3 by 64. A double welded butt joint is welded from both sides. So opening in tank shells with larger than 2 inch nozzle shall be reinforced. 2 inch is always the golden number. Annular, annular bottom plates shall have a radial width that provides at least uh, 24 inches between the inside of the shell and any gap where the joint in the remainder of the bottom. The acceptability of welds examined by radiography shall be judged by Section 8. Section 5 is for NDT procedures. We just tell the NDT for no acceptance criteria. Section 9 is about welding, so WPS, that sort of thing. And API 11 and 4 is for pipeline. Another bottom place must extend a minimum of 2 inches outside the tank shell. The maximum operating temperature for tanks constructed to API 650, not including appendices, is 200 degrees Fahrenheit. That's a scope of 650. Who is responsible for compliance with API 650 standard? It's always the manufacturer. A new tank is under construction. How many radiographs are required on the course vertical runs if the shell is 35 mm thick? So it should be all the vertical joints are 100%. Guys, 35 mm thick. Repairs of defects shall not be attempted on a tank that's filled with oil or on a tank that has contained oil until the tank has been emptied, cleaned and gas free in a safe manner. So nitrogen is incombustible, so that's not a problem. Water actually prevents fire and grain is really not an issue. So oil is the problem. The enforcing place of shell penetration shall be given an air test in accordance so we see no leak. Ultrasonic acceptance standard accordance with API 650 shall be according again section 8. But here because it says agreed open the purchase and manufacturer that actually supersedes everything even the codes are the standards. So anytime you see manufacturer's specification, project specification as agreed by manufacturer or purchaser, so it's always that is the answer. Column based clip guys shall be welded to the tank bottom to prevent lateral movement of the column bases. This is common sense question. An appendix becomes a requirement only when the purchaser specifies the requirement. So it's always depends on the contract which supersedes all other uh, codes, standards and all that. Shell plates are limited to a maximum thickness of 1 by 3 4 inch. The client has requested top course of a tank to be half, thick, half inch thick. The maximum thickness of all other courses is 3 by 8 which is less than half inch thick. So, no shell course shall be thinner than the course above it. That's a prime rule. So, you can see the result. Like, 
this one which I you can see or you can review all the results and it would ask you do you still want to continue because you flagged off a question if you want to see the whole result then you click yes and here we answer 18 out of 20 and then you can see what we have also mentioned uh, the reference for the answers here so you can see here that I made a mistake this is 3 by 32 inch and this is 1 by 64 inch so I made a mistake here uh, normally these are the open type of question but you should know where to find it in which code and which page of which para if you can't find them go to the table of contents uh, if you can still find don't find the, uh, the right uh, section you can go uh, to uh, the list of tables you might find it there the list of figures so we have put all the references here if you want to have a, a read our first model for free please visit our website and please subscribe to us in social media like LinkedIn and also register with a free account at our website. Thank you.